Hi, I'm Sean Polk from Tellwater Supply Fishing in Dallas, Texas. Remember when you were a little kid? First fish you ever caught was most likely the bluegill, and probably on a cane pole. Remember how much fun you had? Well, guess what? There's still a lot of fun on a fly rod. One of the greatest ways to introduce somebody new to the sport is by taking them out with a fly rod chasing some bluegills. Now, where do we go and find those bluegills? Well, right here at your local dock. This is a great place to find bluegill. The nice shaded areas underneath the dock make a great place for bluegill to hide out. It's a pretty simple technique. Take your favorite fly, whether it be a woolly bugger, a little nymph, whatever you have left over from your trout fishing trip, tie it on there and try to cast as close to the bank or to the dock as possible. Let the fly settle down in the water. And once it settles down, start stripping it in. Try to keep it as close as you can. Now, a lot of times you've got overhanging structure to deal with just like this. So don't be afraid to use that crossbody cast just like this. Cross my body and put it right there on the edge of that dock. And then start stripping it in. Now, really my favorite way to do it though, and unfortunately the weather's not cooperating us, is when the bluegill are on their beds. This is a great time to fish. A great thing for us, the bluegills will get on their beds multiple times throughout the summer. So every time there's a full moon from May through August, go out and start walking the shoreline. You're gonna find those brim beds. Well, and the best way to do that is with a grasshopper pattern. Now, if you ever gone trout fishing out west in the summer, chances are you've seen a fly like this. Well, guess what? It makes a great bluegill fly as well. Once this thing hits the water, they can't wait to go up and grab it. Now, sometimes they get a little bit more finicky. They don't want to take this fly. Well, the way you can get around that is by doing a hopper dropper. Yep, the same hopper dropper we use in trout fishing. Take your hopper fly like this, add a couple feet of tippet to it. Normally, I like to use 4X. Take that 4X tippet, tie it onto the bunny hook, come down about two feet or so, then tie it on a nymph, whether it's a copper john, pheasant tail, or a prince nymph. Let that fly hit the water. A lot of times, a grasshopper gets their attention, but it's the nymph that they'll end up taking. So next time you're out there in the water and you want to have fun like you did when you were a kid, don't be afraid to try your hand to some bluegills. Once again, I'm Sean Polk for Tailwaters Fly Fishing in Dallas, Texas.